Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I will show you how to do an HDR photograph using Affinity Photo. All right, let's jump right into the program. Now, if you don't know what HDR stands for, it stands for High Dynamic Range. So you're going to take three bracketed photos in a situation where you want to blend different exposures to get one image. All right, so how do you do that in Affinity Photo? All right, let's go right into the program. And here we go. So we're going to go into File. And you're going to go into New HDR Merge. Okay, so I'm assuming you already got your photographs taken. And see this box opens up. And we're going to go to Add. And you're going to go into the file that has your photographs. All right, so I already have my photographs here. Skyline Storm HDR and we're gonna pick our three bracketed photos so for me this is image 86 87 and 88 so we can just grab all three we're gonna open them up okay now as you can see the little dialog box it shows you all three images here and I usually pick automatically aligned images uh, noise reduction, I leave that on. Tone map, HDR, I leave that on. And uh, you can also mess with the noise reduction. So if you have uh, a lot of noise, in, usually it's the underexposed photo, you might want to turn that up. So I'm just going to leave it at 40, and uh, we're going to hit OK. Now Affinity is going to process the three photographs, and we're going to get our tone map image. OK, so here is the result. Now, on the left-hand side, you can pick different styles. So if you want it to look differently, you can just click on that. So we've got different, different modes here. You can go black and white. So these are the three photographs stacked together. So you can uh, bring down the amount of tone compression in there. You can also do local contrast, so you can mess around with the contrast a little bit more, make it more dramatic. All right, so how is this useful? Well, if you if you have a photograph where you're trying to capture the foreground and the background and you want as much detail as you can, you can use this method. Now, there's a, a lot to HDR than just what I'm showing you here. Uh, I'm just showing you the controls so you can mess around with the exposure. You can bring out the exposure here. You can lower it. You can mess with your black point, right, so make it make it darker all your blacks or you can reduce the black point yeah here's a brightness so these are all the controls available to you uh, and you can go further down you can mess around with these like, like I said I'm not gonna get into this too much and you got curves so you can do a curve here on affinity photo let's try this curve here see what we get So I, li I like the fact that you can use all these different little methods here on Affinity Photo uh, to give you a very nice HDR result. And uh, I think it works really well. See the black and white one. All right, guys. So that's it. That's how you do an HDR in Affinity Photo. Let me know if this was helpful to you. Uh, if you need more information on how to do a merge. Now, typically, HDR is three photographs, but you can use up to five, six, depending on how much you want to see in the photograph. Now, this is just an example, so it's probably like not uh, the greatest. I've seen some awesome HDR photographs, and some people like HDR, some people don't like HDR. It all depends. It's all a matter of taste and what you're trying to achieve with it. So uh, as far as for me, the skyline photo worked out really great. I uh, like the punchiness in the clouds and the fact that you can, you know, you're getting all the skyline, all the lights and every everything is, if you were just doing one photograph, you really wouldn't get as much detail. So with this method, you can bring out all the details in this photograph. So, all right, guys, let me know what you guys think, or if you have more information on how to do this, or if you use other programs. Do you guys use other programs? I have Photomatix Pro on here, which uh, is also another great program for HDR. Uh, but I just want to show you how to do it on Affinity, and you can actually export this whole thing out. 
let me uh, show you how to do that right now okay so once you have done all your settings and you're pretty happy you can hit apply okay so now here's your HDR image and you can do some further adjustments if you wanted to you can keep messing around with this if you wanted to unless you're happy with this then you can just keep that or you can just keep on doing more adjustments here's some more curves if you wanted to add a little bit more punch to this photograph okay once you're happy with the results you can just go to file go to export and you can save it it's either a JPEG or a TIFF or a GIF, but usually if it's just one photograph that you just worked on, I usually just do it as the JPEG once I'm happy, unless I'm gonna do some more editing, then I save it as a TIFF. But once I'm happy with the results, I just hit JPEG, then you give it the best quality at 100%, and you just hit export, and you'll be done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments what you found useful about this, and let me know if you enjoy the videos. Uh, be sure to check out my other video on how to use stacking to reduce noise in nighttime photos. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.